do you have to adjust your arms length again and again to look at your mobiles so do you have difficulties reading your mobiles and take your arm away to read the smaller fonts or do you find your kids squinting and tilting their heads when they are trying to read if the answer to this is yes you or your kid may be suffering from something called farsightedness that is hyperopia hello i'm dr hiral dodia i'm an eye specialist at shelby hospital ahmedabad farsightedness is a condition where you have difficulty in seeing nearby objects to explain farsightedness let, let me give a demo on the eyeball so this is a normal eyeball when we look at the structure of your eye it is made up of three basic structures from anterior to the posterior aspect so this is the cornea that is normal transparent curvature on the eye after that there is a lens lens is supposed to focus and refocus the things and this is the vitreous gel which forms the eyeball and the back part of it is retina Retina is directly connected by a nerves to the brain. So any light coming from any object that falls through the cornea, through the lens and goes and focuses on the retina. And this retina gives impulses to the brain that gives you an image. So for any abnormality in the cornea or the lens or the eyeball, if the rays are not falling in the retina that will lead to eye issues. What happens in hyperopia is the eyeball is smaller or we can say the lights are projected behind the retina so when the light is coming from far away it passes through the cornea through the lens and not falling on the retina but it falls behind the retina and that's why you cannot see the objects clearly far sightedness generally runs in family so if a kid's parent one or both the parent is having far sightedness that is hyperopia or plus powers there is a high chance that the kid kid may have hyperopia second is if any of the first relatives ha is having squinting of eyes there is a chance that that may also be passed in the kids and that is just because of plus power not corrected leading to squinting one of the studies also states that maternal smoking that is during pregnancy if mother has had enough or more amount of smoking that may lead to moderate to high hyperopia in the unborn kids in future coming to the symptoms of far sightedness uh, most common symptom as it defines is you have difficulties in reading so it's not only there that, that you have difficulties in reading and you can see clearly for the distance in moderate to high hyperopic patients they are not able to see in near as well as far and in certain kids if the patient is already having plus power but their accommodation means as i explained the lens power and the lens accommodative capacity is strong enough that they can accommodate for it and even if they have powers they don't find any difficulties in reading or distance vision this is a most common symptom further symptoms come is if you are straining and again and again for reading you may have eye strain a blurring and again and again then there can be headaches frequent headaches by the end of the day you can have headaches in kids we find is squinting of eyes tilting of head to read the objects because they are not able to focus on the objects sometimes we find kids adjusting their uh, table or reading distances again and again they keep their books nearby and far away in kids also they have frequent watering in their eyes if they have hyperopia so they try to focus and their both eyes become watery they wipe off and rubbing again and again if you have any of the symptoms as mentioned previously you should go to an ophthalmologist for an examination once you go to an ophthalmologist they will check your vision in a vision chart if a child or you are able to read you are checked on a vision chart if a kid is small enough who is not able to read there we use something called retinoscope and lenses and we can try and find out how the numbers are in their eyes eyeball length and refraction in kids there is a specific thing where we do a cycloplegic refraction that is we put some drops in kids eye we do uh, in a kind a paralysis or cycloplegia of the eye muscles that are used to strongly focus and cover up the hyperopia so we paralyze this muscles and check the powers in that kid using the retinoscope and again in such kids we call after 2 to 3 days for final reflective error checkup and then we give glasses so glasses is the only thing that helps to treat it 
but diagnosis is made by refractive error checking by retinoscopy and vision chart. Once you are diagnosed with farsightedness, you have to go for the treatment aspect. Treatment consists of two parts, surgical as well as non-surgical. So non-surgical is most common where we go for glasses or contact lenses. Glasses is something where we put a glass in front of the eye that helps to focus the rays coming from far away going through the cornea and lens on the retina instead of going behind the retina. So if the rays are going on the retina, it will give a clear image to your brain and you will be able to see clearly. That is the basic science of using glasses. So here we use convex glasses, that is certain glasses that merges the rays and sends it on the retina. Second uh, non-surgical treatment is contact lenses, where the lenses are put on the surface of the cornea and that helps to focus on the retina. So it's similarly like the lenses in the glasses, but they are on the cornea. Only benefit of contact lenses, it gives a wider field of vision. So better surrounding is seen because the glasses lens frame generally restrict your field of vision. The other treatment aspect is surgical. For surgical, you can go for a refractive surgery. Refractive surgery is uh, what you have commonly heard of LASIK surgery. In LASIK surgery, uh, what we do is on the corneal surface, we give some lasers and make it steeper. So again, the mechanism is same. We have to focus the light on the retina. So the cornea that is flatter, we make it steeper and the light focuses on the retina and you can see clearly. Farsightedness is not something that can be prevented. The only factor in the risk factor that we said about is preventable is maternal smoking. But other factors is you cannot prevent, but you can always give a healthy diet, healthy lifestyle. Kids should have a normal physical activity, at least normal play area outside in a natural light for one to two hours. Along with proper nutritional balanced diet, this can help to healthify his body as well as eyes. And early eye checkup. So even if your kid is not having any power, any issues, or you are not having any issues, just mild watering, just mild squinting, go to an ophthalmologist. Get a proper detailed eye examination. That is better to prevent any long-term loss and increasing power in future. Mm -hmm.